Hi guys. So this is PLA. And I'm going to show you how I get these buttery smooth prints. And this was printed on a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. If you can look at that. You can hardly see the layer lines. It looks like a molded plastic. So, the first thing I did, I used this thing, um, let's see, let's see here. This is from Amazon. This is hardened steel nozzles. Hardened steel nozzle. It comes in a set. It has every size you, you could possibly need. It has 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. It's pretty cheap. Um, I bought this thing, uh, I think a year ago, and I'm still using them. Um, these are hardened steel, so they will last longer than um, the brass nozzles that come with the printer. Those will get worn out quickly, especially if you're printing abrasive stuff that I do. I do print uh, PETG and also I print um, carbon fiber PETG. So the stuff will rip up your, your brass nozzle immediately. So I think if you are going to be printing a little bit hotter, you should definitely upgrade to a hardened steel nozzle anyway. But if you're printing PLA, a hardened steel nozzle um, you can print a little bit hotter than the brass uh, I mean I guess you can use uh, the brass one for you can you can print a little hotter on the brass one but with the hardened steel nozzle for some reason I've been getting some great results with it um, I go so my settings on this PLA is usually like 200 200 plus a little bit so with this one I think I went at 116 uh, the temperature 16 uh, no 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 not 116 that's crazy uh, 216 and I left the um, the bed at 50 or 60 something like this 50 and yeah look at that it looks like molded plastic and this and this printed on a large nozzle it took me about 20 minutes to print this thing and it's a big hunk of plastic if you see look at that buttery smooth I would definitely suggest getting the hardened steel and um, if you haven't seen my other videos of things that I have done to my machine I'm going to link them in the description, but I also clamp down my machine, make sure that there is no vibration. And I tighten up all the belts and and I think the extruder, I, I changed it to a, the aluminum one. I don't know if that makes any difference, to tell you the truth, on print quality. Um, I, it, I think it helps a little bit that you have more support than just the plastic part. Um, it would help if you're printing very, very... Um, flexible stuff like nylon I, I was I was printing nylon over the summer and that stuff is very flexible and you definitely need a aluminum shooter or something else or a direct feed um, setup but other than that I think by getting just a steel hardened nozzle you can get these type of results I didn't do anything crazy on the on the Cura slicer, all I did was make it a little bit hot, hotter than um, usual, like six, uh, 216 instead of 200 or, or 210. You can go there, 210 to 216, and that created this. Alright, comment below if you have any questions.